Have you ever wondered why Mercury, the planet closest to the Sun, completes its orbit in just 88 Earth days while Pluto, the furthest, takes a whopping 248 Earth years to do the same journey? Indeed, the cosmos is a vast expanse of intriguing puzzles and mysteries. One such enigma is the stark contrast in the time it takes for planets to orbit the Sun. On one end of the spectrum, we have Mercury, zipping around the Sun at a brisk pace, finishing its journey in less than a quarter of an Earth year. On the other end, we have Pluto, the cosmic slowpoke, which takes the better part of three human lifetimes to complete just one orbit. These are extreme cases, of course, but they beg the question, what makes these orbital speeds so vastly different? What cosmic mechanics govern this celestial dance? Well, hold tight as we unravel the cosmic mystery of the planet's orbits. To understand this, we first need to delve into the science behind orbits. Orbits are not just random paths that planets choose to follow. They are carefully choreographed cosmic ballets governed by the laws of physics. The main law in play here is Newton's law of universal gravitation, which states that every particle of matter in the universe attracts every other particle with a force directly proportional to the product of their masses and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them. This law implies two things that determine the period of an orbit, the time it takes a planet to complete one trip around the sun. First, the greater the mass of the central body, in our case the sun, the stronger the gravitational pull, and thus the faster the orbit. So if the sun were to suddenly pack on a few extra billion tons, all the planets would start orbiting faster. Second, the distance between the central body and the orbiting body matters. The farther a planet is from the sun, the weaker the gravitational pull it feels. This means it moves more slowly, taking longer to complete its orbit. That's why Mercury, the planet closest to the sun, zips around in a mere 88 Earth days while Pluto, the most distant, takes a whopping 248 Earth years. It's also worth noting that orbits are not perfect circles, but ellipses, elongated circles. So planets don't maintain a constant distance from the Sun. They have a point of closest approach called perihelion and a point of farthest departure known as aphelion. This variation in distance also affects the speed of the planet, but that's a story for another day. In essence, it's a delicate balance of distance and mass that keeps the planets in their paths, each dancing to its own cosmic beat each following the rhythm set by the Sun's gravitational pull and its own distance from the Sun. So, it's all about the Sun's mass and the distance from the Sun that determines how long a planet takes to complete its orbit. Now, let's take a closer look at Mercury, the speedster of our solar system. Mercury, named after the Roman deity known for his swift footwork, truly lives up to its name in the celestial realm. It is the closest planet to our Sun, and this proximity plays a pivotal role in its rapid orbit. But how does this work, you might wonder? Well, the answer lies in the powerful gravitational force exerted by the Sun. Imagine the Sun as a colossal magnet, pulling all nearby objects toward it. Being the closest to this magnet, Mercury experiences a stronger pull than any other planet in our solar system. This intense gravitational attraction causes Mercury to move at a breakneck pace, completing an orbit in a mere 88 Earth days. To better understand this, consider a sprinter on a track. The closer the sprinter is to the center of the track, the shorter the distance they must cover. Similarly, Mercury's close proximity to the Sun means it has a shorter path to traverse. But there's more to it than just distance. The Sun's massive gravitational force doesn't just pull Mercury closer, it also accelerates it like a slingshot propelling a stone. This slingshot effect, combined with the shorter orbital path, results in Mercury's swift orbit. Now this doesn't mean that Mercury is whizzing around in a perfect circle. Oh no, its orbit is actually quite eccentric or elongated. This eccentricity, coupled with the Sun's gravitational force, causes Mercury's speed to vary throughout its orbit. It moves fastest at its closest point to the Sun, a stage known as perihelion and slowest at its farthest point, known as aphelion. So while Mercury might not boast the grandeur of Jupiter or the rings of Saturn, it certainly has a unique claim to fame. Its speedy orbit, driven by its close proximity and the Sun's gravitational force, sets it apart in our solar system. 
Thus, Mercury's close proximity to the Sun enables it to zip around in a speedy orbit. On the other hand, we have Pluto, the slowpoke of our solar system. In stark contrast to Mercury, our speedster, Pluto takes a leisurely pace around the Sun. Its orbit is the longest in our solar system, taking a whopping 248 Earth years to complete just one round. Now you might be thinking, why does it take Pluto so long to make its journey? Well, it all comes down to the principles of gravity and distance. You see, the further a planet is from the Sun, the weaker the Sun's gravitational pull on it. It's a bit like a tug-of-war game. The closer you are to the person pulling the rope, the greater the force you feel. In the case of Pluto, it's the furthest planet from the Sun in our solar system. This means that the Sun's gravitational pull on Pluto is the weakest compared to other planets. As a result, Pluto moves at a slower pace around the Sun. What's fascinating is that this isn't a disadvantage for Pluto. In fact, its slower pace and long orbit allow it to experience longer seasons. Each season on Pluto lasts more than 60 Earth years. Can you imagine having a 60-year-long summer vacation? Moreover, Pluto's elliptical orbit, which is more elongated and tilted than those of the other planets, also contributes to its long orbital period. This unique path takes Pluto inside Neptune's orbit for about 20 years during each orbit. However, there's no risk of collision, as they are never at that point, at the same time. So, in a cosmic race around the Sun, Mercury may be the hare, zipping along in its orbit. But Pluto is the tortoise, taking its slow and steady time. But remember, in the grand scheme of the universe, there's no rush. Each planet, each celestial body, has its own rhythm, its own dance around the Sun. And that, folks, is why Pluto takes its sweet time to orbit the Sun. So, what have we learned about the planet's orbital dance around the Sun? We've delved into the intriguing planetary puzzles and unraveled the science behind orbits. We've discovered that the mass of the Sun and the distance of a planet from the Sun are the key choreographers of this celestial ballet. Mercury, being the closest to the Sun, pirouettes around it in a speedy 88 Earth days, making it the prima ballerina of our solar system. On the other hand, Pluto, the farthest planet, takes a leisurely 248 Earth years to complete one orbit. This slow-paced waltz around the Sun makes Pluto the grand finale of our planetary performance. In essence, every planet performs its unique dance around the Sun, each taking just the right amount of time to complete its orbit. This is dictated by the laws of the universe, the gravitational pull of the Sun, and the planet's distance from it. And there you have it, the fascinating story of why each planet takes just the right amount of time to orbit our Sun.